YouTube welcome back to my channel and to my makeup basket for the week of March the 17th happy st. Patrick's Day I got a little bit of green lighting going on in my background for st. Patrick's Day I am going to jump right into what I am going to be using this week and I am going to be starting with my palette actually I usually do my fragrance of the week also but i am home by myself so i could not like tote the makeup basket and the fragrances down here by myself um as far as moisturizers are concerned i am probably going to be using the josie marin um argan oil body butter i am probably going to be using the philosophy um what is it warm cashmere body butter and the fragrance for this week i don't have those down here to show you maybe i can put them here on the screen just a picture of them to show you that's what i'm going to be using this week and we'll jump into the makeup so first palette i have for you i dug into my palette drawer to pull out and that is the magic by juvia's place palette and that looks like this and i haven't used this one in a long time but this is the first week of spring and this palette screams spring to me um so i pulled this one out i also pulled out the morphe 35v palette and i forgot to tape the the names to the top of this one but it's okay um, so this is the Morphe 35V as in Victor, and I'll be using that. I have the Pro Fusion Sultry Palette, and the packaging looks like this. And I bought this, I think, last fall sometime, I think. But this is what it looks like, and I kind of dabbled into this one last week as well in addition to the other things that were in my makeup were in my makeup basket so i'm going to be pulling this out officially this week and i have another sultry palette this one is the abh sultry palette and it looks like this and the brush still has that plastic on it because i don't use it but this is the abh sultry palette and it's funny that i have like two sultry palettes this this week one drugstore and one high end um so those are all of the eyeshadows i am going to be using this week since i see my blush so close to me i am going to be using the cabana boy blush by the balm which looks like this and i actually have this on my cheeks today every time i put blush on because i don't put a lot on you can hardly ever see it on camera i pulled out the nyx powder blush, well just nyx regular blush do they even sell these anymore um the nyx powder blush and this is in the shade copper it's for the glowy cheek effect this week i have a MAC blush, one of the mineralized blushes, and this is in the shade Gleeful. And this new packaging kind of gets on my nerves a bit. But that is what Gleeful looks like. I have a couple of the new e.l.f. blushes that I hold. I have one in Radiant Peach, and I have one in mauve brilliant mauve which does not look mauve at all it looks peachy i don't know how this is mauve but brilliant mauve and the last blush i have is a flower beauty blush and this is called the flower pots powder blush here on my lip and this is in the shade wild rose and wild rose looks like that let me swatch this because for some reason it's coming across looking super light, but that is what it looks like. So a nice cool tone pink blush. 
and I have a bronzer slash highlight from Morphe and it's called the Brontour Bronzer Plus Contour and it's have it in the shade Showmance which is show plus romance they say and it looks like this this is looking a little not this one this one is looking a little bit red for me I'm not sure if I didn't choose the wrong shade this one has been sitting in my collection for a couple of months I feel like since like the end of the year and I just haven't used it. Let me um, swatch it for you. Maybe it is okay, but I feel like maybe it's a little dark because this is supposed to be a highlighter, but it looks too dark to be a highlighter to me. So maybe I picked the wrong shade. Uh, foundation. I am going to be using the... It Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination, which I have one today, and I have it in the shade Rich Honey. So for some, well not for some reason, because we have not hit summer, Rich Honey is my shade. The deep shade is too dark for me, but the Rich Honey is perfect. I have... Still in my basket, the Physicians Butter Bronzer. Just in case me and Morphe don't work out, this is the Physicians Butter Bronzer. I have the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. So I'm going to be using that as a concealer today. And we will jump on into my lip products. And the lipstick that I am, well, yeah, lipstick lip gloss combo that I'm wearing today are the Alter Ego lipsticks and lipstick and gloss from Lorac. And these are both, if I can show you, in the shade Goddess. And then with that, I used a MAC lip liner and plum. So both of those are in my basket for the week. I was at Ulta yesterday because I picked up that sleeping mask that um, Nunu the hair diva mentioned from Freeman and I used it last night and it is amazing um, but I did pick up also and I got that and this for $4.24 the Maybelline um, I don't know this is supposed to be the lipstick that everybody can wear the same shades but I picked it up in the shade 385 Ruby for me. And that looks like that. So it just looks like a classic red to me. Really pretty. And this one is not a matte formula. This one I believe is satin. I believe they said this was the satin formula. So I, I'm using that this week. I am using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Lip Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. Way too much to say in the shade Tickle Me Peach. I pulled out two of the Tarte. And what do they call these things? I forgot. What was this collection called? I forgot. But two lipsticks from them. And the first one is in the shade Beach Balm. And they are both neutral. And this one is broken, so it kind of got smashed up in the lid. But this one is Beach Bum. So I have to be careful with this one. I think that's what I didn't like about these. They were so fragile. This one is in the shade Cabana Boy. Surprise, surprise. And this is what, how well does this match with that Cabana Boy blush? Let's see. Because that's funny that I... That is pretty funny um, that I picked up the Cabana Boy blush and then this is Cabana Boy and uh, they look a heck of a lot alike. So, going to be doing those this one for this week and this one wasn't a fatality like that Beach Bomb one was. I also put out another Alta Ego lipstick and this is in the shade Duchess. And that just looks like this. So just a light nude color. Of course, we are going to be wearing that with chestnut lip liner. I pulled out a Tarte Lippy Lingerie. And this is in the shade Delight. And it looks like that. Another light nude shade. 
I also pulled out another orangey shade lip color and this one is from MAC. It, I can't remember this sort of tribal collection that this one came from. But this is, is this is in the shade Caravamp, I think it is. And it is a straight orange, but it's kind of sheer. I think that'll be pretty. And the last thing that I have in here is one of the Wet n Wild um, glossy liquid cat suits or high shine liquid cat suits. And this is in the shade uh, Cedar Later. That looks like that. And that is it, you all. That is my makeup basket for this week. Um, so last week, Nunu did ask me to post a picture one day of some you know a look from my Mali basket I am going to try to post at least one picture this week um of the makeup that I'm going to be wearing from this basket so that'll be on Instagram so if you don't follow me on Instagram hop on over there and follow me on Instagram and see if I actually do it thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.